Hello, this is Stefan from overunity.com. Today I want to show you another video or a video about the wits.ws scam. They showed uh, a few years back um, a free energy machine which you can see here in this video um, which was the inspired model for the QEG, QEG machine from uh, Robbie Tail and Hope Girl which made out of it a donation scam and cashed in over 100,000 US dollar in donations for it and today I want to show how uh, Mr. Trap over here has uh, faked this machine and um, yeah he is called Trap T H R A double P and he probably should be called T R A P. Don't fall in this trap what he says now. Okay, I will run the video now and then I will show you with a block diagram how he made it. And uh, explain all the parts. Okay. Uh, basically we start over here at one end and this is a variable transformer to control the speed okay, of the he, motor, the drive motor. Yeah, he has a variable yeah, transformer variable. Drive motor, it's not been altered. Uh, it draws 7.4 amps at 90 volts, yeah. that's what it's rated. And so that gives this you is a DC motor and here he has a full wave bridge rectifier. So what's the little... Uh, um, so the power goes via the variac uh, to the full wave bridge rectifier and then to the motor, to the DC motor. Probably here is a smoothing cap also. Okay, well let's show... Um, the circuit diagram over here. Um, he has a yellow power cable laying on the floor where he first uh, puts in the power from the floor uh, coming through this cable. For this reason this uh, front white double pole double throw switch is just toggled into this direction so it comes goes straight to this here to the variac, to the full wave bridge rectifier and then to the DC motor driving this generator over here which is probably only connected to the cap bank and nothing more so it just runs idle. So, And uh, in the starting process these switches are still open as shown over here so only this, uh, this double pole double throw switch is closed over here to this yellow power cable. Alright, let's run the video again. It's a diode bridge. Okay. And over here we have a variable transformer, diode bridge, motor, a belt that turns the pulleys that goes to the uh, the yeah. rotor of the main goes generator. To the rotor, um, but this runs just turn. idle and um, later on. You can even see through the window. It's, uh, you see the rotor turning in there? Yeah. And you have the uh, the two main output coils, two main uh, here is this uh, double pole, double throw switch scene in the front here. All right. Now, now he makes some excuses of what he calls output coils. He just calls them quantum coils or vibrating coils, which is also a technical bubble bubble expression. Coils. The main uh, vibrating coils, we call it that. Uh, and here's coils. the capacitor bank here on the side. Um, it's been These white uh, things here are the capacitors, um, but you can only see that uh, here is a cable which goes to this box and the other side. Yeah, uh, you can really see that. And uh, I will show later on. It's getting clearer. Yeah, from the old capacitor bank. The old one we had was very, very durable, but it was very big, and people thought maybe there's batteries hidden in it or something. So we try to make this presentable where everybody can understand. Now we make some more much, excuses. Uh, background in quantum engineering. And so quantum engineering uh, is a good expression. Yeah. A beautiful job giving us a nice little capacitor bank here. And uh, here's the, some of the electronics. There's more electronics in this blue yeah, box back here. No electronics and in that's here. Where the switch is on top of that blue box, but there's and some other stuff inside of it. This switch box here, um, I will show you. It's just this one over here. Yeah, it's just an on switch, so to say, uh, for those main double pole, double throw switch. Uh, 
before the lamp bank over here. But we will see it later on in this video, then it's getting clearer. And also there's, there's electronics in this. You see uh, here is the main switch. This is uh, a double pole, double throw switch, uh, which, which switches on the, the hidden power cable to the lamp bank and uh, then it still goes via this NML copper wire, this, this one here and the other one here to this switch on one pole switch over here. Um, and um, blue box, and again the switches. Uh, the blue box. See the, the load. see the, the load. position of There's these switches. Of this one and is switched to the left already, yeah. when it's still off, uh, when when the machine uh, is not yet started. And this is also switched to the left side. So uh, remember this, this is to the left side, and. The other one at the top is we also can, to the left side. We start side. with regular power with yeah. this yellow cord here, and then we can we can uh, unplug it. So here, um, this uh, I said. Remember, this is still in this position, and this is in this position, and um, the front uh, white. Let's see, this is to the left. That means. Um, it's not not as shown over here. It's it's connected now to the yellow power cable. Yeah. So this one is connected to over here. These are connected now this way. Yeah. It's a bit better in this moment. So it's connected this way in this moment. Yeah. All right. Watch it's right. working. So in this moment, uh, the power goes uh, from over here to over here to this variac over here and then to the motor. And quickly right. turn it back to run itself and then light up the bulbs one at a time. This particular device, you have to take it up slowly and take it down slowly because of the way it's built. But they can be built to produce power immediately, large large surges and so on. This We originally had this one putting out 40 kW at one time. Uh, he never have shown it uh, was 40 kW, so but that's also a lie. This is the only machine he has shown in, in, in videos. Okay, well let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, okay. now we will start it up. Now he connects this yellow cable here in his hands to... The double pole, double throw right switch up, in the front. In. Okay, now the power comes over here from from the main power goes over here to this variac and then to this full wave bridge rectifier and then to his motor over here. And then it just turns this uh, rotor over here in idle mode. So to this uh, generator is nothing connected. Yeah. This generator is just running in idle mode. Yeah, maybe it's only the cap bank is probably connected, but that's all. So, all right. Make sure everything looks right. There's nothing loose, nothing uh, messed up. Remember the settings of the switches. Yeah. As near as I can so. perceive, everything looks like it's, it's supposed to be. And so now he turns up the variac over here, and the power is still going this way. Uh, here's a variac to the motor and uh, driving then the generator. So in this moment uh, we still have this connection over here. So input comes from the floor via this yellow cable, goes to the variac driving the full wave bridge rectifier and then DC motor is turning and turning the generator in just idle mode. All right. Now we also have some kind of resonance effect, but um, yeah, it means only the motor, or we 
runs a bit slower or, or faster. Um, but as the cap bank is not connected to anything. Alright, now you see he has toggled this switch and now he toggles this switch to the right side. And now uh, I show it to you in the diagram. Um, he toggled this on and this on. Also first uh, this switch here uh, and then this one over here, the, the main switch. Yeah. So now the power can go to the lamp bank also and he just only has to screw in now uh, these lamps which are all uh, plugged in in parallel then. All right. So. so the first thing we'll do is run the load of the motor because that's the largest load in the system. So the first thing we'll do. Is so now. So now he disconnects this uh, yellow cable and switches on the um, uh, throws back here the, the double pole double throw switch. So now uh, it's really in this position and, uh, and these switches are also closed. So now you see uh, the power for the uh, motor is coming this way. Uh, this way we are the switch and goes this way and to the variac full wave bridge rectifier and to the DC motor. So and then he finally um, okay. switches on the lights. Okay, so basically, uh, so he smiled that he now. hasn't uh, screwed up the, the riot uh, switching procedure. So now we just a little bit uh, the variac. So to still run in this resonance mode, but that doesn't matter anyway. Just not connected to the lamp bank. All right. So. Nope. I think that's good. So now he switches on or screws in the incandescent bulbs into these sockets and. Now, interesting is uh, now in a few minutes the cameraman asked why the machine doesn't slow down if he screws in all these loads. And then Mr. Trap comes up with some more excuses. It's interesting to hear. Sunglasses to not look into these bright bulbs so much. Okay, I didn't hear any uh, slowdown of the motor. I heard yeah. a slight one. Yes. Well, he asked about slowdown. Yeah, it's now an excuse. You don't really, I have heard it a few times, you don't okay, really hear an uh, any, any RPM change. It's, it's just an excuse. Because these are all in parallel and it's powered by the grid. This way, uh, because the generator is not powering, because the generator is not powering the, the bulbs, um, that's just an excuse. And uh, <laughs> it doesn't slow down because the, these bulbs are just powered by by the grid, yeah, if that uh, is here, uh, 
switched on like it's now and all these 15 light bulbs are just powered by the grid and uh, the, the, the mo doesn't affect any way the mode uh, any in any way the motor speed here now yeah. so all right uh, so Just, just show it the, 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 the power is coming now from the lamp bank over here goes to this um, uh, we have this double pro through switch to the variac and then to the full wave bridge rectifier and then to the motor yeah. so so from here to over here and so on to the motor yeah. from here over here oops uh, this way all right i think all right so uh the um, generator just turns in idle mode and it's not affected uh because it's in parallel uh to the lamp bulbs Self-running generator. Uh, it would be quite a good self-running generator. Uh, your ministry has been by able the to. Uh, so I will show you now uh, when the cameraman goes around the machine. Um, where he. Uh, that's interesting. When the cameraman goes around the machine. Ah, yeah, well, and now comes first the uh, switch off event. Uh, and I already wondered when I first watched it the first time why does he switch off the light bulbs by screwing them out and not just uh, turning the, the variac down or, or just toggling off some of these switches. <laughs> That would give uh, the, the scam away, that's why he has to do it this way. So uh, he first has to, uh, to screw out these lump bulbs, so um, otherwise, you know, if, if he would just uh, toggle uh, the switch <laughs> and the motor which is still running, uh, then, then also the, the the motor would shut off, or if he would, um, yeah, let's see which 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 he could toggle, uh, yeah, not toggling back to the mains would not make any sense here. But um, if he just would toggle it, this then the the whole machine would would go out in an instance. Um, so that wouldn't make any sense. So. So he has to do it this way to not give away the, the scam. show it again if you just would have uh, uh, turned down the variac yeah then uh, the motor would have stopped also the generator would have stopped <laughs> but uh, because he didn't toggle any switches the light bulbs would still be on so he could not uh, turn down the variac first so otherwise he would give away the scam because then the lights will still be turning but the generator would be off and the DC motor would also be off yeah. All right. so now see uh, he turns now the switch from the right position to the left position and now it goes out already and you wonder why 
because this is uh, just in series with this main switch over here. So he just pulled up uh, as I showed it over here now. Uh, it's now in this position. Yeah. Now the switch is turned off. All right, but but remember, in this moment, uh, this switch is still on. So power is still on this enameled copper wire over here and at the lower side of, of the bulb. Yeah. And thus also on, on this line over here and um, up until this now, this is now hot until over here. Yeah. Also depends which which is a face or which is ground or neutral. But uh, and that is why he comes up later with another excuse that he also have to toggle this switch into this position. He says, uh, "I just want to switch off the inverter," <laughs> but this is only because the cameraman could uh, hurt himself if, if he comes uh, to uh, in contact with some hot wire there. So he, <laughs> then he would uh, see that it's just powered by the grid. Okay, oh, now the good. phone rings yeah. and says, scam I'll, alert, just, uh, I'll scam get some alert. shots up close so we can see it up close. Scam alert, the phone says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> scam yeah. alert. Yeah, it's probably my phone. All right, yeah, so there's, uh, there's the uh, cord that he uh, plugged it in to start. And let me just take this off my hand so I can... So now I will show you the, the hidden cables. Return. So this is this cable which comes from the double pole, double throw switch in the front goes over here to the variac from over here let me stop that now. from over here um, it goes to, to over here to this full wave bridge rectifier this is this one and from there it goes to the motor alright so at the bottom he has some acrylic plates or transparent plates where he shows that there Outside is no machine. hidden cable over here. Yeah. Oh, and we got plexiglass underneath it. I should but have said that. Interesting, watch this area over here. And this area over here, and this area over here. Now, yeah. here are the hidden cables behind this uh, wooden panel here. You know, it's this wooden plate. Yeah. Have a closer look into this uh, region here along the way but basically the reason we put the plexiglass there is to try to give people a better view there are plexiglass over here this you saw these plexiglass plates uh okay the cameraman didn't fully show it but uh okay you probably can trust him that that there's no cabling because it comes from so the table see there's nothing hidden there uh you know it's uh, as best you can yeah do the best you can and i i have examined this machine Okay, now it's pretty in focus here. We over here have some kind of uh, wooden plank over here. Yeah, maybe the power also comes from from the floor. I don't know exactly. All this black thing here over here, and also over here there is some kind of wooden plank which maybe. Um, which covers a cover plate or something like this. Uh, also, this here looks suspicious here. Uh, so I guess this is, this cable comes over here and somewhere. All right, that's probably where you said hidden. Machine, and there are no hidden wires. Well, if you look closer, you see something here. Here's some black thing over here. And the cable must go over here uh, behind this switch box, behind this double pole, double throw switch. Uh, and showed this must uh, the cable must go first to this double pole, double throw switch. 
in, uh, on top of the lamp panel and um, so because the lamp panel is over here and uh, the box is, pr is probably in this uh, height uh, uh, this is probably um, going this way or something or it comes from the floor and goes here through this wooden plank panel all right, so there you have it. Very good. So I have to. I helped build it. <laughs> so, I, I mean, for what <laughs> profit would we do all this if there was in wires? This yeah, to pay. make money, we are money expensive to Skype all of this, uh, all of calls. Goes to the projects. Uh, not one of us get paid they back. charge about 200 to 300 US dollars per hour it for is. Skype yeah. calls. Yeah. And and all they do is technical blah blah on the Skype calls. Now you can see again uh, this cable coming from the lamp bank, going via this double throw double pull switch, and then going to the variac. Show you again. Oops. Yo, this is one. This cable here. It's like going near that. All right. And now comes the excuse with the inverter. Off the inverter part of the circuit. All right. I have to switch off the inverter part of the circuit, he says, uh, because these enameled copper wires now are still hot. Yeah. So, if, if and also some, some cables at the lamp panel are still hot, so if the cameraman would uh, come in contact with it, he would be getting an electrical shock. So that's why he switched off now. Um, the other switch, he switched off now. This switch in this position now. That that what that was what he meant. He has to switch off the inverter. <laughs> Good joke. And if the cameraman pans back, you can also then see right, it. Yeah. Um, yeah. We get a close-up of these bulbs. Now the uh, switch is, is to the left position here, you know. Now it's switched to the left side. Now we just switch it off. Now, now it's off in this position as I've drawn it over here. All right. Yeah. See, they're 100 watt bulbs, all of them just out of the marking. Some of them are old, so they, they've been transported bulbs. a few times, so the marking flakes off. They get hot, and the, that paint that's for the marking doesn't always stay on there. And this is just the enameled wire here, which goes just to this toggling switch. This is just a one pole switch. Oops. This is just this one here. Yeah. Okay, now we have it. I think it's just look again. I will also post it in my forum and then you can look at it again and just rewind it and ask questions below the video if you don't understand it. And yeah, here you have it. That's the scam how Wits did it. Passers, probably can see the rating now, but uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, if you like, we could, I don't know if you want to do it on camera now, but we could uh, also show the electrostatic effects. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, There's we have like before. electrostatic yeah, effect. It's effects just a scam powered by the grid. Right. That's just, just technical uh, blah, blah. Sure All right, guys. I will just show you the circuit diagram again. So there you have it. Just please give me a like and uh, share that video, please, on Facebook and Tell all your friends who have been working on the QEG and uh, yeah, the QEG people also fall into this trap and Mr. Robbie Tail just yeah, thought he has had something and then Hope Girl pushed it all up and said oh yeah we have something here and then they collected donations 100,000 US dollars and it made the whole free energy scene look bad yeah? and now uh, 
many people say, oh, come on, it's just only free energy, it's just scams, and the, the real serious uh, inventors or, or researchers are also affected by all these scams, so I really don't like these and want to expose them here. All right, this is it. We have seen over the years so many scams and we really need to expose these scams so the, so the good researchers which don't do scams uh, um, will not be thrown down by these scams. All right, this is Stefan signing out now. Many thanks for watching. Bye-bye.